besides sharing the personal information management suite mm -hmm. and BBM, um, right. is there a way to share, you know, I know Other. HP, one of your rivals with WebOS, just demonstrated a way to share a web page that you're right. looking at. Yeah. Um, is there something similar from that experience on the playbook? Um, uh, not specific that we're, um, you know, that we're, that we're showing today. Um, I mean, it is an interesting area, we and um, obviously, you know, secure Bluetooth connection that we're using um, for the initial pairing and, and, and bridging with the uh, with the BlackBerry smartphone. Um, so I think as we evolve, we're going to um, you know continue to open up that Bluetooth channel to third-party applications, so they can take advantage of that. Um, you know, as well as you know, of course, explore those those areas where you know other apps could take advantage of the uh, of the full screen. But um, our focus initially is really on that paired experience with your PIM, uh, a BB as well as then enabling the 3G connectivity through that uh, uh, through that paired connection. And this connects also to Wi-Fi for the internet if you don't have a smartphone or a BlackBerry smartphone, right? Right. So you know, out of the box baseline, it is you know full Wi-Fi capabilities, and so um, you know it'll be used as a as a full-fledged uh, Wi-Fi tablet and uh, with full obviously web connectivity. Um, and then again, that incremental capability of if you have a BlackBerry smartphone, uh, when you pair with it, you can uh, use its 3G connection uh, for network connectivity while you're away uh, from a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, but again, with the BlackBerry Bridge, the other thing that we've, um, you know, recognized is that, um, you know, even as being when a Wi-Fi only product, uh, when you're away from Wi-Fi, you still have access to all of your email, uh, your PIM data, and BBM that's on your BlackBerry smartphone because it remains connected while you're out. And so we find it in many cases that, you know, that's the type of experience that people are looking for. So we're excited about that. Um, and again, it will continue to evolve this year as we add on 4G um, capabilities into the product. Uh, but we think it really offers a very compelling experience out of the box for the first phase. I have a user carries both the uh, Torch or uh, Bold mm -hmm. and the Playbook. Um, do you have to manually manage the Bluetooth connection, or is that something that pairs and unpairs to save battery life? Um, how does that all work? Yeah, I mean, as with with many other you know sort of Bluetooth-based products, the you know it'll be a simple setup process uh, to do the initial pairing, um, and then you know you obviously won't have to enter a whole bunch of data each time that you do. So it'll be a seamless experience once you've managed that first pairing. Um, now for the once you. Uh, um, you know, when you're paired um, for things like email, it will, you know, cache um, some of the uh, email content, so it's not constantly fetching it over Bluetooth, so the performance is really terrific. Uh, for our business customers, then we provide um, uh, policies that they can control whether that data should persist for a long or short period of time if they have certain security uh, requirements. Um, so we are doing a lot to make sure that that is a, a very seamless experience for the user, that they're not feeling they have to reconnect every time or anything like that. So it, um, you know, we really think it will offer a really great experience, but all the data will feel like it's native. It's not, um, you know, we don't expect that you'll, uh, or you certainly won't have to feel like you're clicking on an email and waiting for it to render from the smartphone. It's, um, you know, it's quite a, um, you know, quite an elegant experience. Um, with the Wi-Fi only version, I know GPS isn't really a part of it, but with the 4G, 3G, HSPA Plus or LTE, um, is GPS going to be included in the package? We do have GPS in the Wi-Fi only Oh, there version. is yeah. GPS. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're committed to that. I mean, we, we just see so many great applications uh, taking advantage of GPS these days. So, yeah, we were uh, committed to getting that in the first product as well. That's awesome. Yep. Um, with tablets these days, you're, you're seeing them being used more as car computers or sure. car navigation devices. Yes. Um, do you guys have third-party developers who are committed, like a Navigon or a Copilot, to have, I guess, locally stored maps so you're not fetching them right. every time? which is important if you have a Wi-Fi only version. Yeah, um, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's an interesting area. We haven't had any of those, uh, of those partners, um, you know, announce anything specific to date. So, um, uh, but, you know, we, we expect any and all of those kinds of applications. But, I mean, I think you're absolutely right that, um, you know, for a Wi-Fi only product, the ability to take and go but still use GPS um, as you navigate through is, uh, um, you know, an important type of, of, of scenario. And then, again, uh, can also leverage the 3G connection if you have your BlackBerry smartphone with you. So. Um, no, I think more and more solutions like that will come to market and, of course, with the amount of memory, now you can have that ability to, say, preload a lot of data like maps as opposed to, you know, what you might want to do on a, on a smartphone. So, um, no, it'll be, it'll be great to see what kinds of solutions come out, um, but can't, can't speak on behalf of those vendors uh, quite yet until the product launches and we see what comes to market. I know you guys have been really proactive and great about reaching out to developers mm -hmm. about what's available to them to develop. 
but from the consumer side, mm -hmm. um, what kind of sensors and APIs um, can we can developers tap in? So kind of to give an overall kind of picture of what kind of apps are available. I know we talked a little bit about the accelerometer mm -hmm. when you're talking about the need for speed and playing it connected to a TV. Right. Yeah, I mean, there's, um, uh, you know, for both our Adobe Air and uh, WebWorks HTML5 um, development platforms, we have hooks into Accelerometer, obviously hooks into the camera. Um, the Playbook has uh, uh, dual HD cameras, front and rear, so we expect to see a lot of, uh, you know, very interesting applications built around that. Um, you know, access to the native file system on the device or so document and photos and others that are stored applications will be able to uh, tap into that data and build value add on top of that. Um, what else would be specifically relevant? GPS, GPS. as we mentioned. Um, you know, so I think those are, you know, some of the, the important areas. And then, again, we've built out a lot of extensions to, uh, to enable apps to integrate with each other. Um, take advantage of, of multitasking and uh, uh, go into different states depending on whether it's maximized or minimized. Um, so, you know, overall we've, we've, we've gotten, you know, again, very, very good feedback um, in terms of the overall experience, the performance, and, um, you know, so I think for now we really just got to focus on let's get as many vendors as we can get up and running as quickly as we can. Additional content, like, I know on the smartphone you have the Amazon MP3 store mm -hmm. app, um, for music. Um, how right. about movies? Because that's a great uh, screen. Sure. It's an awesome screen. Yes. So I would love to see more movies on there. Right. And easy way to get them on. So. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's. Uh, I mean, it's a great question. You know what we've. Um, uh, you know, obviously, we've um, been committed to a number of, of, of strong partnerships around the product. What we've uh, announced so far is that we will uh, be preloading the uh, Kobo ebook um, reader and, uh, and bookstore um, so that there will be an out of the box experience for, um, uh, for accessing and, and, and using an e reader um, service. Uh, we've announced our partnership with uh, Electronic Arts to bring on Need for Speed and, and Tetris out of the box. Um, so, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're committed to evolving that. I think at this time we haven't made any specific announcements related to video or, or multimedia partnerships. Uh, but I think, you know, obviously uh, I absolutely agree that that's a very important area and we see with such a, a terrific video experience, both, um, uh, you know, visually and, and audio and with the HDMI, uh, we think it's a huge opportunity. So we're going to continue to work with the community, um, you know, both third parties who are bringing services as well as, um, you know, partners who, uh, you know, may be able to deliver something, uh, you know, more core to the product. So um, we'll continue to evolve that and, um, you know, but again, we haven't made any further announcements quite yet. I saw the playbook for the first time at CES and like, it was all indoors. Can you talk about how well the screen displays outdoors under bright or semi-bright sunlight? Um, that's a good question. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not, uh, not well versed in um, from my side. Are, are you familiar, uh, Karina, with any specifics around the uh, screen and in, in, in outdoor light? And... No, we have, I'm not, but I, we can follow up with you, you know, on that. So I'll jot down your specific mm -hmm. question and um, come back to you yeah, so. From personal use, I think the, uh, you know, I found it to be quite quite good. I've used other products, um, right. you know, that I've, I've, I've certainly found this to uh, to be better, but we can follow up on uh, more information related to that. Okay. It's an awesome product. Yeah, we're uh, incredibly excited and uh, uh, again, I think, you know, for our our purposes here, it's, uh, you know, we're getting uh, really positive feedback from, um, I think, you know, from the developer community, but the, the gaming community is, is, is very excited about this. And so it's been a, um, a great week meeting with vendors, showing them the product firsthand and, and getting them excited. And, um, you know, I think Need for Speed and, and Tetris will be a, a small start to, uh, to a much bigger path to a really strong and, and exciting gaming platform. So. To step away from games for a little bit, um, can you talk about productivity um, with perhaps say like a office suite or any type of office or document editing or viewing? Yeah, so what we, uh, you know, what we have um, out of the box is our um, uh, Word to go, or sorry, Docs to go, um, uh, Sheets to go, Excel um, uh, product and uh, Slides to go. So we, um, you know, so DataViz, yeah, DataViz data became yeah. a part of, uh, uh, part of the RIM team. Um, uh, within uh, the last six months or so, and they've always, you know, they, they've offered the, um, the solutions on the, the, the smartphone side. Uh, so it's been, you know, great having that team now in-house, and we're, um, you know, focused on providing a, a very rich experience on the, on the playbook. Um, so we'll offer full document viewing, um, you know, both sort of natively stored documents as well as those as, as obviously email attachments and, 
and whatnot. Um, you know, so we'll offer a rich viewing experience for um, typical uh, spreadsheet and uh, PowerPoint and, and Word documents. Um, and we'll be, you know, obviously evolving that uh, over the, um, you know, as the product evolves uh, to bring in really rich, you know, editing and, and further management experiences. So. Any other screen sizes that you can talk about or seven inches, what we're seeing today? Uh, well, seven inches is what we're seeing today. And, uh, yeah, beyond that, we haven't uh, uh, made any further announcements. But, you know, we're excited that, you know, the certainly the software platform is, you know, is adaptable and, um, you know, we can meet the needs of our customers. So, um, uh, you know, we'll continue to evolve the product. We'll continue to bring it onto new networks, um, and you know, we'll uh, you know we'll look at both hardware and software evolution as the market takes us. But um, you know, this is this is one small step in a uh, you know very long and, and exciting path. After talking with Research Emotions Tyler Lesser today in San Francisco, it seems like the company is targeting the playbook more as a mobile computer rather than as a ubiquitously connected device, at least in the first generation device. Right now, the BlackBerry Playbook requires a BlackBerry smartphone even to manage emails. So unlike the Android tablets or even the iOS uh, tablets that can natively view contacts, calendar, and emails on the device without having to have a tethered smartphone experience, the Playbook will require you to have either a BlackBerry smartphone or operate the tablet as a gaming device or an ebook reader without the PIM uh, data synchronized to the device. Unlike Android, which launched uh, with Android 3.0 Honeycomb on the Motorola Zoom, it seems like Grimm's strategy will be paying off because the company is expecting a number of titles, apps, and games to be available with the device at launch or near after launch. The device sports a very fluid uh, user interface with very capable multitasking capabilities that's similar in look and functionality to HP's WebOS um, user interface that's been acquired from Palm. We'll definitely have to take a look in the future to see if consumers will be willing to adopt the BlackBerry Playbook as the device does require a tethered synchronization experience through the BlackBerry, uh, Blackberry Bridge synchronization capabilities, which will provide a secure environment for emails and corporate calendar, which the enterprise will be definitely looking at. But for the consumer, that's an additional step, so we'll have to see how easy it is um, for the consumers to use and uh, the user interface behind that. For now, I'm Chung Nguyen for everyone at Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com. Today's a great day to be mobile.